This is another historical one. It's called Rotten Borough Ancestors. My ancestors lived in a rotten borough. But as a rule, don't we all? This one's unfit for purpose, fit perfectly for the purposes of those who rule us, pissing it up at parties and taking the piss while we die. Our story begins in Great Bedwin, King Alfred, Jane Seymour, Wolf all and all, the land of the Kinwoodston Hundred, parcelled up and traded by the great and not so good, until fewer than 28 electors controlled the whole borough's fate. What Hobbit called a villainous place, in the shadow of the Brudnell Bruce estate, sitting in both commons and lords, and to this day still own it all, and chair the local Conservative Party, where the civility of wearing a mask is presented as an attack on their liberty. And our family, the young girls, they say, ragged as colts and pale as ashes, 21 years old and dead and buried. Driven out by poverty, we found our way to North Kensington, in tenements so rotten yet more children died, the landlords fined less than 20 bob a life, and a century later, they still blight our lives. Grenfell shows any claims of progress to be a lie in another rotten borough, where the posh watch opera, while the poor and the working class die. While Boris and Carrie are having a party, in up their flat with God knows who's money, they're all on the take and fast track their mates, it's Versailles chic, and let them eat cake, and try not to laugh when the cameras roll. Like the house, no one cares at all. New wars will disguise Covid's death toll. Their fat greedy fingers are in it all. Toe the line or face cuts to your skull. Every day the cost of living gets higher. Poison the skies and shit in the river. The whole fucking country's one big rotten borough. Controlled by the toffs is baked in forever. And we wave little flags while their princes check out our daughters. <laughs>